Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Victoria and this is Tori's Tropicals. So today I have a rare and uncommon plant haul for you guys. I'm going to start with the uncommon plants from the nursery I got them from. They're from Valley View Gardens in Markham, if you've ever heard of it, or in, in the GTA. It's a really great place to go. So let's start with the first plant. The first plant I have to show you guys is this Begonia Maculata, whitey eye, and it was in bloom when I got it. Uh, a lot of the flowers have fallen off. I don't think it's being kept in enough humidity to keep them up. I'm going to have to find it a place in either my room with all the humidifiers or I need to buy humidifiers for my living room too, so I'm probably going to do that and stick it beside it. But I just love the polka dot foliage. I think it's so beautiful. I love begonias. I think they're really underrated plants. I don't know why they're not more popular. But yeah, this is this guy. It's just gorgeous. He just put out this new leaf here and this new leaf here while in my care. And he's got a new growth point coming in right there. And one right there. And one right there. He's got a lot of new uh, leaves coming in that I didn't notice. Oh, and another one down here, too. So yeah, this is him. I love him. The next plant I have to show you guys is from, uh, is also from Valley View. I said that at the beginning, I'm sorry. And it is this Deshidia Jerry. And it is just so cute. I, um, I'm new to Deshidias. This is my first one. I think there might be a lot of Hoyas. I believe they're a Hoya hybrid. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I just love them. They have the like waxy, waxy, succulent like leaves. And he's just trailing down so far I couldn't resist him. He was a really good price. He was only uh, $7. It's just in a little four inch pot, but still it's amazing. And I got this pot from Valley View too, but I got it there last year sometime and just have never found the right plant to go with him until now. The next plant I have to show you guys is a shingle plant. Um, it's the Raphidophora hay, hot hay eye. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is him. He's got two growth points coming up right here, and he's got a new leaf coming in, or sorry, two new leaves coming in right there, one here and one here, and then another new leaf coming in right here. And basically, like what these plants do is they, um, their aerial roots will like attach to the board. So like he's stapled down here, which I'm not too pleased with. I'm gonna have to take those out and fix that. But up here, he's not stapled. He's just stuck to the board because their aerial roots will just climb things. It's really cool. But yeah, I love, I love him. The way they just like shingle up their foliage is so close together. I really like that. I do like it when plants get leggy sometimes too, but I, I do tend to prefer when their foliage is closer together. Now the next plant I have to show you guys is this Carii, Alba, uh, Carii variegata alba marginata and he's just beautiful. He is a big guy. He just goes on and on and on and on and I just I have to share the price. I got this guy for $20 from Valley View. It was just it's amazing. They sell all of their uh, these guys in the six inch pots for $20 but they all have different amount of growths. I was very lucky to get a long one and he has three peduncles. I have never had Ohio Bloom for me, so I'm really, really hoping this time I can. Let me see if I can show you the peduncles. So here's one. Don't know if you guys can see that. Here's another right there. There's the third. And I'm pretty sure he's got a fourth one coming out right there. So I am really excited. He's got some new growth point like new leaves coming out there and stuff I'm very very excited about this the last I have one of these already actually um got them from Valley View 2 for $20 oh flower just fell in my drink sorry I got them uh from Valley View 2 for $20 I'll actually show you guys him I got him almost a year ago and I, he won't grow for me. My green one will. He just put out this new leaf in here. I chopped him back because he just had a bunch of stem running, but then the stem stopped growing and there was no leaves coming out. So I just chopped him back and now he's putting out this new leaf here. I don't think he liked the spot I used to have him in. He seems to like this spot much better with the humidifier close by. 
Hoyas like a lot of humidity. I didn't used to have humidifiers when I first got into plant game. I didn't really consider my plant's needs very much. It was more like, I like that plant, I'll stick it here. But they don't really grow that well if you do that. So I've been trying to play more, pay more attention to my plant's needs. But this was the first guy I got. So like I said, $20. This one from the same place was also $20. And I know I already had one, but I just couldn't resist getting him with the peduncles and just how long his vine is. I just, I love vining plants so much. Let me just put him back, or try to. Oh, there we go. Almost got him, got him. We didn't take any of these leaves off. These leaves are very delicate. They will come off pretty easily. Like he's really full in here too. There's only one growth point on this guy, unfortunately. But I'm hoping maybe if I cut, I can, if I can get these peduncles to bloom or if they fall off on me, which is probably more like what's gonna happen. After that, I'm gonna chop him up and propagate him and make this pot so full. So yeah, that is him. Now to find him a home to sit for now. <laughs> so the next plant I have to show you guys, I actually split into two plants. So here was the baby. It's a, whale, a variegated whale fin. Here's the baby. And as you can see, that baby's having a baby. Now this guy isn't showing any variegation, which I'm not sure if he's going, if they get their variegation when they're older or they show it when they're babies. I never had a pup this small. Actually, this is my first variegated one but I actually prefer the non-variegated. I have two of them. I have one back here. You probably can't see him because the light's like pretty close to him and just shining. And then I have one on top of the shelf up there. I prefer the non-variegated one, so I'm really, really happy if he's non-variegated. But this is the baby and his baby. And then here's the big guy. So yeah. I got all of these. These were all in one pot. Like, I split them up myself. But yeah, I'm really happy. I love whale fins. They're probably my favorite type of Sansevieria. I like them when they're just the one leaf in the pot. I just think they're a really big statement piece. And they are so easy to take care of. My first plant was actually a Sansevieria Laurenti, Laurentii? Laurentii from um, Ikea. I got, them, I got her for like $20. Um, I named her Felicia. She came pretty tall, but she's probably like a good three foot plant now. And she's just been shooting off this spring. I've been keeping her in a pretty sunny place because although they can take low light, they of course prefer, you know, sunlight like any plant does. It photosynthesizes that will help them grow and stuff. But Sansevieria will tolerate pretty much any light. However, I've been putting her in a decently bright spot, not right next to the window or anything, but probably about five to six feet away from she from a southeastern facing window and she's just really been loving it. So the next three plants I have to show you guys I got from a local seller on Facebook and the first one is this little baby billy tie right here. Now when I first went looking for a billy tie I of course wanted a full plant but you know those are like a hundred dollars plus and I got this little guy for 45 which isn't the cheapest but he's just so cute and I love to watch them grow so this is his leaf this is the new leaf that um was just come uh, just came in when I got him and he's got a new other little guy I don't know if you guys can see it in that little pocket here he's got another little one coming out and I just repotted him today and he's got really good roots so I'm really, really happy. These guys, I'm in um, Ontario and the GTA area, and these guys, I are really hard to find. I've never seen a uh, Billy Tie in a store before. And if you have, please let me know which store. I will literally drive like four hours from where I am to find it. And I'm north of Toronto, so just let me know. I love these guys. I'm also looking for an Adam Aponzi, so if you've seen them, let me know too. The next one I have to show you is also from the same seller. And it is an Anthurium Clarinervium. And this is my Thirst Anthurium, and I just love him so much. Their leaves feel so cool and velvety, but they're so thick. 
and then this little leaf. He did have a flower when I got him. However, I cut it off this morning because he's got a new growth point there and it hasn't seen there. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's in here. It's right here. Um, but he didn't seem to be doing much. So I was hoping by cutting the flower off, maybe that leaf will start to come out a bit more. Um, and theriums do like high humidity, so I have him pretty much right next to a very small humidifier. I have not this big guy right here. I have a small one over there. And it keeps it at about um, seven, anywhere from like 60 to 80 something humidity most times. And he seems pretty happy there. I did have the little tip here come off. But it didn't crisp up, it more seemed to be kind of like soft, so I was wondering if maybe the, humid the humidity was just sitting on that tip too much. But the other ones seem just fine. So I'm really, really happy with him. I love the veining. I've been really looking at Anthuriums a lot lately. I just really love the pronounced veining and the way their leaves feel. The last guy I have to show you guys from this local seller is actually right back here. You can't see him very well. I just have to move some stuff on my shelf. You can't see him very well because of the lights, but it is actually what I uh, put the post out for. I was searching for a Monstera Thai Constellation. Look at that leaf. Look at that leaf. And so I put the post out there and he contacted me saying he had two and this is one of them. And then asked me if I had any other plans on my wish list, and I told him the Billy Tite and the Claire Nervium, and he just happened to have them too, so I bought them as well. And he's got a new leaf coming out right here, and it's got fenestrations, and it looks like beautiful variegation. And then this is the only fenestrated leaf, and then there's this little leaf right here, and then the slightly bigger one right here with just like I love this. I love the Thai constellation. I think it's so beautiful. I just have to find an elbow, a Monstera elbow now, and then a Monstera alba, and my little Monstera Deliciosa collection will be complete. I just, it's so pretty. I love uh, plants with white variegation too. Their foliage is just so beautiful. Looks a little yellow on camera right now. That's just my lighting. I have yellow lights. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just get him back on his shelf now. So the last plant I have to show you guys, I got in Guelph at a rare boutique, a rare plant boutique called the Secret Garden Boutique. The owner's name is Elle. She seemed really, really nice when I met her. I only met her briefly because I knew what I was going when I go there. She'd posted a picture of this plant on her Instagram and I just needed it in my life. And it is the Philodendron Pastazanum Silver. And then you just look at the size of this leaf. Like it's gorgeous. And it is just so beautiful. I love the silver on the foliage, the veining, the way the foliage is kind of ridged. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then the heart-shaped leaves. I'm a sucker for heart-shaped leaves. And this was um, its newest leaf when I got him. And he's got this leaf that wasn't fully hardened, so it's gotten bigger in my care. And then this was his biggest leaf when I got him, and I'm pretty sure the oldest. And this is the little, the little middle child, or oldest child, I guess, because this is the mama, oldest child. Middle child. And then he's got a new baby leaf coming in right here. How exciting is that? And it looks like it's going to be a nice, good-sized leaf. I'm really, really thrilled. It's just so beautiful. If you are in um, anywhere where you can drive to Guelph, I would definitely suggest checking out uh, the Secret Garden Boutique. Like I said, that's where I got him. She has amazing plants. I'll definitely be going back. She has some of my wish list plants. And rare plants can be really hard to find in Canada and Ontario. A lot of greenhouses won't invest in them and stuff because our winters just don't really accommodate and it's not worth the risk of the amount of debt they can have importing them to acclimate them and then make them other plants and stuff just because our, our winners don't really account for it you kind of need you kind of just want to acclimate these guys like one at a time for the most part for part most part for the most part from what i can tell fruit fly <laughs> yeah 
So this is the last plant I had to show you guys. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, comment down below. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye beautiful people!